Let's... Why are you following me, little bastard? Hey, friend. I think you'd better stop looking into this cult business. And who says I'm looking into the cult business? Don't be a fool. You've been nosing around asking questions. The entire North knows what you've been up to by now. Uh, you're part of the cult. What do you know about them? Ah, oh, you're such a fool. That ring I gave you? The cult has been tracking you this entire time. Consider yourself warned, hero. I fucking knew it. Hello everybody and welcome back to Aurora Plays Never Winter Nights. I'm your humble host Tim and in the previous session we cleared out um, a group of uh, orcs that were being led by an ogre mage which were uh, being taken over by this cult and then on my way back to town before I leveled up the person that gave me the ring uh, in the previous session turned out to uh, be working for the cult, obviously, I know, and uh, so that the ring was a tracking device, so I left the ring somewhere uh, so they won't be able to track me with it anymore. And then I went about, leveled myself up, and got myself a fancy new set of armor, a lovely new cloak, and as well as selling off a whole bunch of stuff that I didn't need. And now we're going to head on out to uh, either the uh, either of the two woods, the North Wood or the Char Wood, uh, in search of whatever it is that the cultists are looking for, as well as trying to uh, find out more information about where they are located. Oh, east is Neverwinter Wood. Right, so this way. All right. Love a little compass down here. Makes things much simpler. I'm trying to work out my north, south, east, and wests. I've never been any good at that. Uh, east roads never would. All right. Oh. So this is the road to the wood? Okay, ducky. Okay, ducky. Now, oh, jeez. Okay, ducky. What can Tommy do for? Sorry, Tommy. Went to. Archaeologist barracks. Where the hell am I? Help! Attack! What? What? Oh, 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 uh, oh. oh well, you don't look like. Oh, oh, never mind. I don't look like who? Uh, trolls, of course, like the ones that attack my expedition. Ah, maybe we should start with the expedition introductions. My name is Drax, Professor Drax, a famous archaeologist, don't you know? I'm looking for knowledge about some ancient creatures, that's why I came here. Uh, what creatures are you talking about? I'm uh, talking about uh, a creator race, very really fascinating, actually. I believe they lived thousands of years ago, and I think one of their ruins lies somewhere around here. Ah, oh, so you're looking for dead things. Well, archaeologist, yeah. Oh, no, no, I'm looking for proof of the existence of the race. You see, some fellow archaeologists and I were hunting through the cave systems in the area to find the entrance of some ruins that lie beneath them, and it was a marvellous expedition, or so it seemed. I figured uh, there should be lots of treasure and tomes created by this race, but then we were attacked by trolls and ogres. Uh, you'll have to tell me more, then. But I was studying a rock formation in one of the caves, and they attacked us. Uh, we had some guards with us, but they were holding the ogres off. But the trolls killed them, as usually as children. Uh, we obviously didn't hire good guards. Uh, we hired what we could afford, and we paid for our mistake. We ran for our lives, and our guards gave us enough time for uh, the few of us to get away. But not enough. Uh, not nearly enough. Uh, I'm sorry for your grief. 
Oh, the death has come to nothing. So many sacrifices, and we still do not have proof that I need about the creator race. Uh, tell me more about the race. Oh, not much uh, to know about them, although they're very powerful, and it's speculated that they fought for control of Torel against the dragons. Ooh. How long ago did this take place? Oh, you sound like your uh, supposed scholars in Waterdeep, searing in disbelief. Happened over 10,000 years ago, even before the first human civilization uh, of the Netheril came into power. Uh, they use powerful spells, creating magical effects and items that we have dreamed of now in the gods. Uh, the gods have limited its use. Okay. So what kind of treasure are you talking about? Oh, well, they were powerful enough to contend with the dragons. As I think they were, they must have had some kind of magic items, not to mention wealth. The trolls might uh, have had some treasure too. All right. And you think you can prove this race existed? Uh, if they were advanced as I think they were, they should have left behind some writings. Uh, if I could get my hands on a book that proved the ruins were built by the creator race, then I could get the rest of the grand body I'd need to complete the history of the ruins. Alright, so what's the money for? Well, well the money goes to pay the guards, supplies, equipment, as well as the uh, expertise uh, of other researchers. Without that money, I cannot learn more. And that's what was so important that I find this proof. Okay, I can let me look for an ancient tome. Oh, my lord, that would be wonderful. Blah, 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 blah. Here's the key to the barracks. You can talk to my colleagues inside for more information. Alright, good enough for now. Um. All right then, I'm off. Cool. Not what I was looking for, but let's. Uh, here, here lies a brave, noble frontiersman, a lighthawk, who scoffed at the warnings of lesser men and built a fine town. Okay. He learned the error shortly thereafter. Beware of trolls. Okay. Ah, that's it for you! Take that! Yeah! Uh. It's done. Healer's kit plus six. Nice. Uh. Janice. Hello there, good sir. Pretty boy, what are you doing here? I'm clearing the trolls and ogres out of this cave. Uh, who are you and why are you here? Oh, my name is Dennis, and I was prisoner of those monsters. Well, kind of a prisoner. What do you mean, kind of? Well, why don't I just tell you the whole story? Seems to explain that way. You see, I am a mage of no small accomplishment, uh, and I'm fascinated by archaeology. And I was with a troop of archaeologists as they explored these caves, and I became interested in the unusual pattern by the cave wall, and accidentally became separate from the others, and then I heard screams. Uh, so what did you do? Oh, don't interrupt. Uh, no respect for your elders. That's the problem with your generation. Anyway, by the time I got back to where they were, everyone had been killed or had fled. It was uh, I was very concerned for my son, Ravat. Uh, he was a slow of mind, and uh, in a quick glimpse, I noticed his body wasn't on the ground. 
and the largest troll I'd ever seen came back into the caves. He seemed surprised to see me, uh, which was all that saved me. He started to hoot and shout at the others, and he came bounding across the floor, and I began to cast a spell. At the sight of the blood and his claws caused me to slip uh, um, in the incantation I had meant to encase him in Ojaluk's resilient sphere. Uh, a very rare, unusual spell. Bell. So what happened? Well, it sucked him back into me and trapped me in a form-fitting, impenetrable force field. And I couldn't move, but the trolls couldn't hurt me either. Uh, they were so impressed, they think they thought I was like a goddess. Okay, well, why do you think that? Oh, there's enough room in the shell for me to talk uh, when I could talk. But they couldn't hurt me, and they started bowing down and bringing me gifts. Uh, not that I could accept them, uh, but uh, they brought them anyway. Uh, so now I get to go as part, even though I've killed all the trolls and ogres, I can't get feel and I don't know how long the slow will last. Uh, but I'm going to die or <laughs> to get out of here soon. Um, so how am I supposed to help you? I need you to find Rafat. He has a ring that was his father's. The ring has a one-time cancellation spell on it. Uh, I created it to protect Rafat from spellcasters who might seek to harm me or harming my child. And where is your son? Uh, he had some outbuilding on the surface near here. Now, he uh, wouldn't have stayed there worrying about me. Uh, you had better go quickly. The, uh, the thirst is starting to get to me. All right. Let's quickly head back up to the surface then. Uh, Lenten. Ravat, there you are, my boy. Hello there. Mama? Oh, you're not, Mama. Uh, oh, me in big trouble. Uh, there, there, fellow. It'll be all right. May I ask you some questions? Uh, me try. Me don't have good mood to talk. We're having a very bad day. Um, tell me who you are. Skullcleaver! Right, okay. <laughs> me name be Ravat. Who you be? Uh, my name is Aurora. I'm pleased to meet you. Uh, I'll be glad to meet you, Aurora. Uh, wish me not bad day. Uh, it was terrible at today. Yes, your mother. Uh, yes, uh, went wrong. The trolls that told Jax hold me about. Nasty trolls, ugly olders, no longer see blood out of our eyes. Um, Skull Cleaver! Don't worry, I'll save her. Cool. Persuade. Uh, I'll do what I can. Hey, Janice, I got the ring! Greetings! Uh... You're back, huh? You certainly look sweet, Ty. Huh? Well... Well, you can come with me now. Ah, uh, so you had that ring from Ravats. Uh, if you were to touch me with the ring, uh, that shouldn't negate the spell. Alright, here's the ring. Bizarre. Oh, thank you, that feels better. Uh, what are you standing around wasting time for? Do you have other things to do? Um... Don't you need help getting back to Ravat? Uh, what do I look like? Somebody weak? So, Granny, I'm a powerful mage, and I'll make my own way back. Now the spell's broken. Okay. East Road, the simpleton's mother. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. All right. Whoa, a dire bear. Oh good. The trolls are fighting it. Ah, uh, it's done. And yeah, what is in this chest then? Let's read this note. It's handwritten in blood stain, but part of it is legible. Dear Amata, these caves are deep and dangerous. We've found layers and layers of caves, but there is construction down in the bottom of the crypts we seek. We tried to get Darius out, but barely escaped ourselves. We're going back tomorrow, my love, to try again. I hope I'll have the chance to send this to you. Oh, dear. Well, if I find this person, I will certainly deliver the letter. Jeez, that guy's doing the moonwalk. <laughs> he just flicks me in his head. It's like, yeah, bugger off. You son of a bitch. 
Surprise, motherfucker, we're back and fully healed. <laughs> she just knocked me on my ass. There we go. Finally got the bastard down. To electrical damage, you'd take a hit by a trap. You get hit by a trap or something. Another surface exit. Here comes Halfling Death! Okay, okay. I okay, okay. I it's done. So really when it comes to picking locks, we need either a good rogue or an animal. A vicious animal just to smash the shit out of the, <laughs> the particular device. I have to remember that and do an Aurora's Guide based on animal companions and ways of infiltrating areas. Ugh, back it up, back it up, back it up. Abati! Oh, damn, they killed my pig. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out! Oh jeez, they followed us out! I didn't know they could do that! Cleanse my taint? Jeez. That's just disgusting. Ha ha. Oh, we have sleepy trolls. Let's get up here then.
Finally, just fall down. Jeez. A ghoul? What have you got there, Tommy? Huh? Please don't eat me. Oh, calm down. I'm not going to eat you. Oh, you're not a troll, are you? No, I'm not a troll. Oh, then please help me. I need to get out of here. They're coming to kill me and eat me. I can hear them. I can hear them coming. Can you? Can you hear them? Can you hear them? Screams. They're eating the others. There aren't any screams. You. Uh, you don't have to worry. I'm killing all the trolls. Oh, you, you? You can't kill the trolls. They killed all the guards, and they'll kill you too. Well, I've already killed a number of trolls. Now, what's your name? Uh, too many. There are too many. Uh, 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 you've killed just one, and it pulls itself back together and starts to attack again. No, no, we have to... All right. I don't have time to escort you back to the surface, but the way should be clear. Or do you want me to take you to the surface? No, the trolls will eat you. They'll find you. All right. Uh, what's the other thing? They're afraid of it. Uh, it's deep down. Uh, they won't go near it. Uh, who's afraid? The trolls? Can you imagine something that could scare the trolls? Uh, they know it's powerful. There's nothing we can do. It will kill them and then it will kill you. I must flee now. Good luck. That's a wall, you dickhead. So there's something else in... Ah. Something else in here that is... scaring the trolls. That's impressive. Even deeper into the cave, good lord. Creator ruins. Oh, there is a creators here. How awesome is that? Ow. All right. Whoa. Okay. That's a concern. Oh, what have they got? Oh, crap, I'm stunned. Ah, no! Let's have a talk to this golem then, shall we? Maybe he can help us out. 
Hua Sukla Truth. What are you saying? I am the guardian of the first seal. None may pass. What is the first seal? It is a portal that stands behind me. Only the masters may pass through. But I need to get through the portal. None may pass. I'm one of the martyrs. Masters let me pass. You do not speak the master's tongue. You're not a. Uh, you're one of the slave races. You may not pass. But I've been sent by the master's I'm in here. Important mission. <laughs> and I must have access to the door. Damn it. Uh, you do not possess the creator's ring. Slaves who have been sent by the creator always have the ring of Gax. And where can I get such a ring? I will answer no more questions, slave. Son of a bitch. Alright. Uh, jeez. Uh... Wait, could that ring... Oh, no. Oh, it's easy enough to retrieve, I suppose. Let's find out. Because I did leave it in here. Solomon's ring. Is this the ring? You get through the portal, one of the masters, failure. Okay, it's not the kind of ring. Alright, cool. Never mind. Well, I can just leave this ring right here in the bottom of this area here. If they want to track me, they can track me into this place and get themselves killed. Alright, let's try and get through. Ooh, a pile of stones. Aha! Minotaur! Ah, that's it for Get you! It. Take that! No, no, I'm stunned. Not quite as difficult to kill as I thought it would be. these damn statue things. That weird chess... Ah! Ah! Yeah. 
Okay, okay. Literally just looking for a book to prove that this place actually exists, which is kind of hilarious when you think about it. Ah, the Golem Signet Ring. Alright, cool. So now, we should be able to get past that... Well, the Golem. Dude, I got the ring. Here is the ring. You may pass. Ooh, and he melts. Awesome. Cool. Alright. What do we got here? Level two of this dungeon. What are you doing, you fool? Ask you. Uh, I speak the password in the mortal's tongue. I must get through the second seal. None may pass. Password in the master's tongue. Persuade failure. Okay, so I've got to find out what the password is. One hour later. Eh? What can Tommy do for you? You can open this damn chest, is what you can do for me, Tommy. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Ah, it's done. Shield of the Watch. Sweet. To the middle. Yee. Flesh go. Okay, okay. All right. So what's in this chest now? And what is in this note? Truth Mog Lama Gatrag. So that is the password. Excellent. Yeah, 
Hey, buddy. We don't pass slave, but you must speak the password in the master's tongue. Truth, Moglama Rakag. Bugger off. Stunned. Here comes Halfling Dead. Okay, Turkey. <laughs> done well. Ah, oh, it's done. All right. Let us once again. Before we head down, let's head back up to the temple, sell off our crap, get healed up, and head hey, back down. Create a ruin, level three, hopefully the final level. Ooh, already traps. Oh, jeez, I'm just gonna kill this guy. Alright, fine. I can't even make a scratch! Now, what are you doing, Aurora? Get your bloody swords out. Flatten his ass. Uh, no can do. So we gotta find the key. Alright, well, I'm guessing the key is in the one room that we can actually enter. Whoa. These are big corridors. Let's take it slow. Check those traps as we go. See how that ring that I picked up from the Temple of Helm has been phenomenally useful, especially with the trap absorption. in here. Interesting. Checking for traps, checking for traps, checking for traps. Jeez. Grey render. God, that is terrifying. Wow. Okay, cool. We win that fight. But holy shit. Yeah. 
Ah! Hang on. Tommy, follow me. Okay, okay. Can he even get through the room? It's too big, it can't get through the door! That's fantastic. Oh, a dead thief. I have to go check him out now. A page from a journal which reads, They once stole the loot, drank ale, wench not friendly. Stole some more loot, drank more ale, wench more friendly. Stole some more loot, her uh, head hurts. Heard rumours of better loot in the caves. Wench might be more friendly if I had more loot. Snuck past trolls into caves, planet exploring everywhere. Day five, hungry head, her unreadable due to blood splotches. <laughs> Whoops. So he came down here and got himself killed. Level drain? What the hell? How frigging dare you level drain me? Uh, geez, what level am I now? Oh, man. Alright, um... Well, here, let's just go in here. You can check this room out. Well, don't open that yet. Ah, uh, no can do. Seriously, Tommy? Texts on the aging scroll before you swims and distorts, finally forming into a language you can understand. Farron was once ruled by a cruel ancient race known as the Creators, who left their sta uh, left in oh were left in stasis. Oh jeez. 
Um, created race found a group of slaves to protect them through the Ice Age. Ah, right. That would be the humans, I'm assuming. Uh, Alright, well, before we do anything... Since I'm now level 7 bard... Uh, let us... Head on back, hopefully the... Hey, I'll take... Okay, good, thank you. No, hang on, I'll just sell my stuff hey, while I'm up here. Through the seal, create a sorcerers. Oh, dear. What the hell are these things? That's what creators are. Magic missile, the shit out of my wolf. They're not very creative when it comes to their attacks. Oh, better summon my dog back. Ooh. Ah. He's surrendering. Somewhere I got a sissy. I don't understand what you're saying. Possa ek kasak. There, that brood spell should enable us to converse. Can you understand me, mammal? Uh, yes, I can understand you. Why are you here? How does a soft, weak mammal like yourself dare enter this room? Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Where we mammals rule this world. Such a thing cannot be. How could your slave race have risen so high? Oh, we're nobody's slaves. Uh, we might no longer be in power, or so you say, but then surely the draconic race must rule the surface as they used to rule the skies. Uh, they don't rule much of anything, if you're concerned about the dragons. So the winged masters have been weakened. Excellent. Do you mean to tell me you mammals aren't ruled by a greater race? Uh, I can tell I'm getting rather tired of being called mammal. My name... Oh, I can tell you that I'm... I'm yeah, my name's Aurora. Just stop with the, the mammal crap. Ah, uh, a sense of identity. You are much more than... More like, uh, centigans. Okay, whatever that means. Um... It did not take long for their resistance to be broken. It should be amusing to see what becomes of your civilized manners when our race dominates yours again. And what makes you think your race will dominate ours? 
You haven't even the slightest idea what you face. You will learn in time. It is your mind, and your mind is completely worn out from the effort of communicating. Or do you have other questions? Uh, I have other questions. All right, Bemel, I suppose I should humor your request since I did surrender. What question would you ask me? What are you? Uh, I'm a member of a race that is highly superior to yours. We are masters of flesh, mind, and spirit. Well, that doesn't answer my question. Uh, it would if your race had true intelligence, but I would speak. Yeah, but I will speak so that you can understand. We are the master race, created in perfect form and mind, and are meant to rule the lesser races. We possess incredible magics, the likes of which your puny mages can only dream of. Our warriors are fearless and nearly unstoppable. And how was I able to defeat you if you were so damn powerful? I have not been awake long. Perhaps I simply have not recovered my full strength. Be assured that when my queen decides that it is time, we shall come forth and show you what real power is. And who is this queen you speak of? She is... Tyclean matriarch. She is power beyond understanding, cunning beyond belief. You will fall to her as I have, uh, as all have fallen before. And that is all I will tell you. Uh, I would not, I'm not talking to you anymore, get the hell out of here. As if I would turn tail and flee from a mammal like you, you have given me enough time to recover. Oh, stab him quickly. You. Take that! Have at thee! Son of a bitch. Cheeky fuck. Oh, and I can't get my pig back now. Well, that's a shame. Well, let's have a sit down and a rest after that. I'll tell you what, Tommy. That guy was a real prick. Yeah, just really, really inconsiderate and arrogant. That's all I have to say. You may be the master race, doesn't mean you yeah, lack manners, that's all I have to say. The Complete History of the Creator Ruins. Alright, so we've got the book <laughs> that the guy was looking for. Alright, let's have a read of these then, shall we? So while we're here. Uh... In 501 SD, a few thousand members of the enslaved race revolted. The uprising took several years to quell, and most successful uprising slaves that have experienced to date, though far from posing a military threat, saves uh, complicated the recapturing process by hiding in caves along the Sedig Range. They lived like savages. Further complications came. Uh, the draconic presence centered as they refused to bow. The dragons were defeated uh, in the Second Great War. However, Okay, as is customary, the elderly were eliminated, the young males were crippled and sent to work in the iron mine, and the virile females were returned to the pens for the purposes of breeding. Holy shit. Uh, letters in this book swear, uh, yeah, at the dawning of the first red moon, Morag, the future queen, began her slow and bloody climb towards the seat of power. Uh, her Sen mother's throne, her ascension, uh, the heights of the dragon throne. Uh, Yoke's sister to date was the first victim of the Rising Queens. Awesome cunning. In the day before her ring stone ceremony, Sedate entered her hibernation chambers to meditate. Out of the fire's glowing embers crawled the venomous Zelfit. When the priestesses arrived to escort Sedat to the ceremonial chambers in the next morning, she found the limp dead husk of the favored child. So it was that Morag, our blessed dread queen, made the first move in her game of maids. Many moons later, it would lead to the siege of Tyklat, where she would take the head of her Sen mother and display it in glorious triumph to her adoring throng. Thus began the rule of the all magnificent Queen Morag. All right, and the initiates primer. Uh. Okay. Cool. All right. 
And the cloak of protection plus one. Plus one AC. I'll be keeping my nymph's cloak. Thank you very much. Step on this pressure plate and see what kills us. Uh, that's going to return us to the surface. Enter the portal. Well, that was fun and exciting. Let's go and head back up and deliver these books to the archaeologists then. I wonder if this plot actually has anything to do with the main one, or if it's just a completely unrelated side quest. But I will admit, though, if it was a side quest, it's one hell of a detailed side quest. Took me, what, two and a half hours to complete? Hey, Jax, I got a present for you, dude. Stupid rock. Huh? Huh? Oh, you're already back. Oh, what can I do to help you? Oh, any evidence of the tome yet? What? I think I found your book. Is this it? Thunderclap. Oh, yes, astounding. How do you get past the trolls? No, no, it's not important. What matters you have it now? Uh... Well, excellent job, young lad. So I trust 500 pieces of a reward for recovering this books. Um, yeah, sounds fine to me. Wonderful. I can hardly wait to get back to Waterdeep. Those snobs are going to choke when they see this. Good luck, lad. I am up for Waterdeep. Excuse me. <laughs> All right. Well, on that note, that's where we're going to leave today's session. Um, and I'll head back to Lady Araboth and see if these books are of any uh, any use. You know, thinking about it actually, the cult could actually be the cult of these lizard people that they're trying to resurrect. But for now, that's where we're going to leave it. So thank you all very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. I have been your humble host, Tim, and be sure to come back for the next session of Aurora Plays Neverwinter Nights. Bye!